Among the subsidiary duties of art is that of conserving, and no doubt also of taking extinguished, faded ideas and restoring to them a little color. When it performs this task, it winds a band around different ages and makes the spirits that inform them return. It is only a phantom life that here arises, to be sure, such as appears about graves or like the return of the beloved dead in dreams, but the old emotions are again aroused, if only for a few moments, and the heart beats to a rhythm it had forgotten. On account of this useful function of art, one must overlook it in the artist himself, if he does not stand in the foremost ranks of the Enlightenment, and the progressive masculinization of man. He has remained a child or a youth all his life, stuck at the point at which he was first assailed by his drive to artistic production. Feelings belonging to the first stages of life are, however, admitted to be closer to those of earlier times than to those of the present century. Without his knowing it, his task becomes that of making mankind childlike. This is his glory and his limitation.